Hello everyone, it's Kay Michelle with Lady Dragonfly Designs. Welcome, welcome, welcome back if you are returning. How is everyone doing? Um, I hope everybody's surviving the heat, if you've got heat. Um, Scott keeps checking his phone where his mother is and it's like 75 degrees up in Pennsylvania. And it's like, okay, whatever. Ugh, it's hot down here. Anyway, um, today is my birthday and I am not doing anything today but crafting. All right, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the little short videos, like 20 minute videos seems to be working really well. Um, here is our journal that we started yesterday. Um, Heather had a question about ink. Uh, she, she has made her journal and I'm so proud of her for making her journal for Junk Journal July Mango. Mm. And she asked me what kind of ink I use. I personally, for permanent ink, I use Jet Black Ranger Archival Ink, okay? Uh, that's my main black. My main brown is the Distress Ink Vintage Photos. Those are the two I, my go-tos. And also, um, if you want to get into inks, um, what I do with my black and brown is I have those and I just buy the little refill bottles and just refill those. These, um, I purchased uh, through Amazon. They're the little minis. Um, I've had these for years and they're still juicy, um, you know, but, um, what I would suggest, um, like, see, I wanted the distress ink, but I did not want to buy all the, uh, big ones. And so what I did is they come in, I think little packs of four. And so whenever back in the day when I had money, I, uh, just bought the little ones. And my little Versamark, this is for uh, embossing. And these are Memento uh, Dewdrop, little teardrops. And they were just really cute. And so I got those. Um, I, knock on wood, have not had to replace any of these. I've had these for at least 10 years, I think. And then uh, when my husband was ill in the hospital, uh, my retail therapy at Tuesday morning, they had these Ranger dye ink pads uh, for like $1.99. And so, well, and of course, you know I bought them all. Um, you know, if they were on sale. Um, sh did I really need those? No, I didn't. Uh, really what I suggest is have a good black and a good brown. Okay, now I know... Um, Oh, let's see. Vintage Photo, I think, is the main go-to brown that everybody uses. Uh, but I have seen women who use sepia and coffee. And there's another brown called Potting Soil, which I don't know where it went to. It should be right there, but it's not. Um, but uh, if you would like a range of color, um, these are archival inks. Um, these are just... Uh, Oh, let me put my glasses on. Fade resistant dye ink is what the mementos are. And uh, the distress inks, oh, the luscious color, but distress ink, um, if you, um, let me show you. Let's do it on here. Okay. All right. Um, let me get a stencil of some sort. Just pulled one. Oh, Twisted Citron's calling me. And I have these on the back, but again, like I told you, you really don't even need to. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I hope y'all are having a good day. Scott's taking me to breakfast already. And we went to town. Everybody's gearing up for the watermelon thump. Okay, all right, so I did that. And you spray it with water. I haven't done this in a long time. I don't even know what's gonna happen. And get paper towel. 
and it distresses it. So that's why it's called distress ink. Okay, so it's water-based. If water is added to it, it will change uh, its appearance opposed to archival inks, which are permanent. Okay, so, uh, all right, so wrapping that up, get you a solid black, a solid brown. If you would like to play with co color, um, you know, buy, buy a couple, uh, again, these come in packs of three, I think, three or four. So, uh, and they're not, uh, like six dollars, okay? So, I would just buy, like, a little package of the distre dis blah, blah, Distress Ink, a little package of the Archival Ink, or, uh, probably on Etsy, eBay, you can get, uh, you know, just shop around, but I would suggest getting the minis if you want, like, colors, um, but again, just have you a good base brown and a base black, okay? All right, I hope that answered your question, Heather. I probably answered it better in the comment than this. And another thing, I don't know why, but and uh, it's kind of like Leslie at 507 Willow House Journal. Her and glue sticks don't just, they just don't get along. She just, you know... And she uh, had a comment of what kind of glue she used, so she went through that. The sponge daubers um, just tear apart. I don't know if it's because I have a heavy hand or whatever. It's got hair on it. I took, I got the little felt bottoms uh, that you put on the bottom of chairs from Dollar Tree, and I glued it to the sponge, okay? Um, because I guess I do have a heavy hand, and I did that to my black and my brown. Um, it it holds the ink, and I don't have to keep inking, you know. And it doesn't eat away as bad as it does on the sponge. I don't know. Can y'all see how it's just all eaten around the sponge? So I just put those on there and use those, and they've been working. So that's my little hack if you have uh, sponge dauber issues. Okay. All right, so I hope that answered all the questions about inks and stuff. And thank you, Heather, because I hadn't seen how all my inks that I actually had. I pulled out all my inks. These are all my inks that I have. All right, so today <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to show you <laughs> how to bind your signature into your journal, okay? Um, I went through last night and got me some pages. And um, another thing I was going to tell you, I, in one signature, I put 10 pages here, okay? So it's 10 full pages, all right? But you got one, two, three, four sides to one page, okay? So 10 pages here, this is a 10-page signature, you get a total of 40 pages to work on that, you know? And so, and if you look, that's going to be fine. She'll probably get chunky. You know, it's okay. All right, so go through. Um, you see how I have, gosh, hair everywhere. I uh, have staggered uh, my pages. You know, just get them the way you like it, the way it looks good to you, okay? And that's what I did. I love him. He is so cute, and I love that blanket. Okay, and I wanted to put the Juneteenth, so we started it on that day. Okay, all right. So, put it together. I put my hand in there and just kind of tuck it, fold it. Okay, it's all together. Um, you can use clothespins. Uh, Sarah, my daughter, bought these for me, and I absolutely love them. But what you want to do is just make sure your pages are together. Okay, all right. Oh, snap. See, I messed up. Okay, we'll do it this way. All right, so just get your pages lined up. Okay, I'm gonna get another paper clip. And I used to use uh, binder clips until I got these. But you use whatever you got, clothespins, uh, paper clips, binder clips, whatever. Okay, all right. <clears throat> And this, um, I this is in uh, embroidery. Thread. No, what is this? It is crochet thread. 
um, that I found out my 18 wheeler and okay needles <clears throat> uh, this is a quilty needle this is not I don't know what no this is this is a tapestry needle this is a quilty needle okay uh, I'm gonna tell you it's personal preference uh, my grandmother sewed so I've got a gazillion um, needles um, this one is really my my go-to it makes a big hole but I like that uh, it's personal preference but I'm going to use this one um, <clears throat> and if you have uh, like a big thread you want the big hole so anyhow let me lick it you know it really helps if you put on your glasses when you're trying to thread your needle just saying all right, I'm going to totally eyeball this. I used to measure, um, I don't anymore, okay? Just gonna poke a hole. All right, now the one thing is, um, pretty much I always start by poking a hole from the inside out. Oh, air's on the desk, so she's snoring. All right, so I've got a good size hole, okay? now. If you want your tails on the inside, you start from the inside out. If you want your tails dangling to where you can add some beads and stuff, you need to start from the outside, okay? All right, so what I am going to do, it's best if you put it all together, but uh, just do it what works for you. See, do you see those creases? But I don't, I don't rightly care, okay? And I am just going to eyeball, and I'm gonna just put it center this way and center this way. Maybe. If you got an awl, which I don't even know where mine went. If you buy like a little book binding kit, it comes with one of these. You can use that or you can use your needle and a way to get it through the papers like that. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think well, I'm going to do it on the outside, okay? So I can show y'all how to do some danglies, okay? So I'm just running it, trying. It's hard when you have shakes. Okay, there we go, okay? So I'm going to come up from the outside, okay? This happens. Sometimes I can put a journal together in two seconds. Sometimes it takes me 10 minutes. You know, it's just the nature of the beast. Okay. All right. So I'm going to come over here and line up my signature with the middle of the uh, cover, maybe. All right. Way off snap. Okay. Please don't poke yourself. I might have to use the all. This is harder than I thought. Ice pick, um, whatever you got. Okay. See, this is why I don't do this kind of tutorial because, oh my goodness, this is a strong box. Huh. That was hard. Okay. I dented my box and everything. Lord, y'all, I can't even get the needle through. Okay. All right. And what I'm going to do, okay, is I got it there, and I'm holding it all together, and I'm going to line up and poke my third hole. Oh, y'all. Okay. And I'm gonna pull these two strings to get my signature back. Actually, okay. We all together, everybody together. Okay, and I am seriously going to try to hit the hole. All right, I got it, I got it. Whew! Remember that when you're picking packaging, who knew? That was a stout spaghetti box we used. Okay, all right. So what I did is I came in 
went over, you can do either side. I always just go to the right. It's probably because I'm right-handed. I don't know. Go out, okay? Then come all the way over to your third hole, bring it through, and then take it out the middle where you started, okay? See how this is on this side? Then you want this needle and this part of the thread on the other side because you're gonna tie it. Oh, thank gosh, that's done. Okay, all right. So we have it all through. I'm gonna lay it flat. You can take off your paper clips, clothes pins, whatever y'all were using. Tie, uh, pull firmly, but not hard, okay? Let me tell you how many times I have busted my string and had to do it all over again, like five times, because I pulled my string too hard. You want it firm, but just not hard, because if you got a heavy hand like me, you're gonna, you're gonna be binding over and over again, okay? Just a simple tie and a knot, and it's, I had one string on this side, one string on this, and that, that that's the most simple binding I can tell you. Um, there's all kind, uh, you can watch plenty of videos out there on binding. I would love, but I get myself too confused. I overthink it and, and that's, you know, all right. So we have cute little tails. You could have your tails inside or out, but look, that not too shabby. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so that's binding a journal. Heather, I'd love to hear how how uh, yours, uh, what happened with yours. Uh, she said she was making her junk journal July and uh, had a little problem, but she got it all worked out. But yeah, so that's what I'm talking about, Heather. And so here we have this luscious little journal. Isn't that just cute? Okay. Um, I told you, like, see, now I've ripped that. I might cut that. I might cut that. You know, it's it's total, total personal preference. All right, so we have made a journal out of that book and a product box, a spaghetti box, okay? Um, <clears throat> Scott had a pad of paper and this just tore off of it and he was going to throw it away. I'm like, oh no, I can use that. You can use this, you can cover a page. Uh, this the other part of the spaghetti box. See, and I cut that part because I needed it to wrap this string. Uh, but this, you can uh, decorate this side and have a journaling card. Or um, you can flip it over and decorate it and make it a tuck. Reason why, if I'm going to decorate it, make a tuck, I use this side because this side's smoother and, and papers slide in easier. Okay? I hope that made sense. Alright, so to decorate, um, I might decorate one page, and I want to try uh, to make my videos and uh, upload them in the evening, and so I can. I'm going to try to put out a video every morning at eight o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay, if it doesn't happen, you know, I'm trying. Okay, um, junk mail. Okay. You can, I'm gonna show you just real quick. Oh, I wanna do this thing. I was just watching uh, Denise with Junk Journal UK. And she did this cool thing and I wanna do it. Okay, so we have cut our envelope, okay? You can, you can do whatever you want. You can tuck this in and make it, leave it just like that, decorate it, whatever. Um, what I'm going to do is, and I did make my dangle for my barely art glue so I wouldn't lose the needle anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna close this flap. Try not to do it on your journal. You know how many times, oh, I got brown ink on me, that's why. I have um, done it on my journal. Let's see. And I think I, mm, yep, you would fit there on you. Oh, it cut you just a tad too big. Let's see. That's the hardest part, just trying to find out where you want to put it. I'm going to put it right here. And what Denise did, 
which I just thought was brilliant. You can decorate this before you adhere it. You can adhere it, decorate it in the book journal itself. I want to do this so I don't forget what she did. And actually, no, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do it like she did. What I was going to do is leave this kind of as a pocket, but then it doesn't really adhere to the other side that well, so I'm not. Okay, what she did was she had a little envelope. And all I'm going to do is just find that crease and I glued that down. Okay, so on this page, Look at that, look at that. You got an upside down pocket. I thought that was genius. Okay, if it sticks out, it doesn't matter. Okay, here, all right. We're going to, now I knew, I told myself last night, if you sit there and go through everything, you're not gonna find it in the morning when you want it. Let's see. And index cards. Get you a stack of index cards. Index cards are wonderful. Oh, that's pretty. All right, let's do that. It's a Betsy. And all I'm gonna do is tear this page like a crazy woman. Oh, y'all, it's so hot here. Oh, and we, uh, where we ate breakfast this morning, Scott, on the TV, it said on the other side of San Antonio, um, the heat index was supposed to be 124 degrees. Oof. Like that. Okay. So, I'm going to put that picture there. And so, we're just going to... think about it when I got the EKG shakes. When I got the shakes, when I put my glue down, it looks like an EKG read up. That's why I call it my EKG gluing method. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm, missed all that. All right. I want, I like the bottom. So, you know what? I'm going to tear it just a bit more. Oh, that was good. I'm getting better. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And I'm going to take... No, you know what? I think I'm just going to fold it over. <gasps> and you know what else? I'm only going to put the glue right here. Yes, because I'm dying to make a little tuck. Okay. And I'm just gonna fold it over. And look, you've got a pocket in another pocket. And it's a flippy. Isn't that cute? I thought that was a brilliant idea. Okay. Uh, if you wanna trim it down there, you can. It's so, so up to you. That's the wonderful thing. There's no rules, just happy accidents, whatever pleases your eye. Okay. All right, let's see how long we've been going. 23 minutes. Hey, y'all, that 23 minutes has got, got it down. So, all right. So, that is, we discussed our inks, and I was going to say, if I can't find that, mm -mm. <laughs> y'all, glue issues we have. Um, uh, needles, binding. I think we did a pretty good binding. Um, I don't like to do binding tutorials because, honey, I can show you how to totally muck it up big time. But yeah, we got our uh, signature sewn in and I showed you, you take your junk mail, uh, get you some index card, uh, but go through your junk mail because there's postcards, all kinds of stuff. All right. Um, and this series, this is going to be part two, the binding of the signature. And I had to do that real quick because I just saw it. Um, and so uh, part three will continue just working out of this book. These are just the 
pages out of that uh, crafting encyclopedia and I'm showing you how to make a whole journal out of one book. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, I hope this has inspired you. I hope it was informative about the inks. Um, it is all personal preference. Um, I'm no expert. I'm just telling you my journey with my inks and, and how, how I've evolved. Um, so I hope, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I hope y'all are staying cool. If you're in the hot climate, uh, remember to stay hydrated and, um, I love y'all all. Thank you. I'm at 173 subscribers. Oh, thank y'all. Y'all are my crafty friends, and I love nothing more than to sit here and craft with you. And uh, since today is my birthday, I am going to sit here, try to get some more cool air on me, but I'm crafting all day. So you might get another video today, okay? Just saying. Um, no, I love you. I pray for y'all. I hope whatever you're doing makes you happy. And just know you're blessed and loved and have a great day until my next video. I love y'all. Bye.